Hi everybody, Stephen Flagg here, and welcome back to Flagcraft. Now, if you remember last week, last week, well, last episode, last week to me, uh, we were working on... What the fuck are you doing? Uh, we were working on uh, collecting up animals for our farms, and uh, we found our cows and our pigs, and what the... Get, why are you up there? You see, I had to create a sound muffler. A sound muffler is nothing but a note block surrounded by wool. Um, it, you can hear how faint the animals are here. I kind of really needed that. Uh, these animals were insanely loud. What are you? Jesus. Get the... Get in your pen! Oh, you little jerk. What? Uh, oh, you're gonna fu Come here. Come here. Let me go get some of you for you to eat. <sighs> just, you're, wait, you're wasting my time. You're, you're just seriously wasting my time here. Okay. Hey, sheep. Hey, what are you doing over there now? How'd you get in there? Come here, you glitchy bastard. Come on. Not you. You stay in there, piggies. Come here, you stupid sheep. Come here. Ah, screw it. As long as he's in a pen, he's fine. Okay, so anyway, you see, you see what I did there. Now, uh, what I really, really, really wanted to do uh, the last time when we were on the island, one of the first things I love doing when I get into a Feed the Beast world is building one of those build craft quarries. Now, I know they're just, they're basically leg, hey boys, they're basically lagtastic and... Uh, you know, I just love them, though. I love seeing the stuff go along through the pipes. And I'm pretty sure if we set one up correctly, we're not going to make a huge one. If we set one up correctly and then we s get everything piped into the sorting system, uh, I think we're in good shape. So what I did over here to do a little bit of preparation was first I set out the area of ground. This is where I'm going to mine. Where I'm sorry, where I'm going to set the quarry up. Now... What I did was put water all on the inside because basically uh, as the quarry goes down it's going to bring the water with it so it'll just make like a deep lake so we're, we're basically creating a lake we're not going to have a huge hole the second bonus to that is if it hits lava it'll automatically turn that lava into obsidian which will then be sent back up to me so fantastic now I already uh, I already uh, prepared everything that we were going to need so we can set it up. So I'm just going to show you everything very quickly here. I'll bring the recipe up so you can see it. And then we're going to go set up our fucking quarry. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I got anything here to dump? Come on, get in there. Dump, dump. I'm going to keep that. I can dump the dirt. And the wheat will go in here with my food. You can tell I've been out harvesting a bit. Uh, every every uh, episode before I start filming, I go out and I harvest everything. Okay, so um, here's the stuff we need. Coal, guaranteed. Levers. Uh, levers, you know, those are nothing but a stick on top of a, a piece of cobblestone. Right? Yeah. Simple. Now, uh, some sterling engines. I grabbed four. Sterling engines are made with uh, three cobblestone, a piece of glass, a piston, which if you remember is uh, just the wood, the redstone, the iron, and the cobblestone. Oh, oh, go back, go back. Uh, and then we need the stone gears, and if you remember the stone gears are just the sticks going boom, 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 and then we've got... Uh, uh, you create a wooden gear, and then you wrap stone around... Oh, look, here, I'll just, I'll just show you. You see? You just put stone around a wooden gear. And a wooden gear is just sticks where all that cobblestone is. So I made four of those. Uh, then, of course, I made some uh, transport pipes. I made two stacks of 64 uh, stone transport pipes. I, I wanted to make it cheap, plus I had a lot of cobblestone. Uh, now we take a look at those. Those are nothing but glass with uh, stone or cobblestone on either side very very simple and it makes eight. Uh, I also had to make a wooden transport pipe because that has to connect to the quarry. Wooden pipes suck things out. Uh, I also had to create landmarks, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, the wooden one, it's the same thing, it's just wood with glass. 
And then we have landmarks. Landmarks have to be laid out to show the quarry where you want the quarry to work. And they are made by just putting uh, a piece of lapis above a redstone torch, which is, if, as you remember, a stick and some redstone. So is that everything? Oh, I didn't show you the quarry. This took the longest to make. A quarry is some iron gears, which is a wood gear turned into a stone gear turned into an iron gear. Some gold gears, which is one step above the iron. And some diamond gears, which is, you basically get the idea how to make these gears. Uh, a diamond pickaxe and a piece of redstone. So yeah, it was all pretty simple. Uh, I had all the stuff, it was just a matter of time making it. So let's grab everything and then we're going to head out and set everything up. We're going to get this quarry going on this episode and then we're going to watch some stuff move. Watching some stuff move. I'm not, uh, I'm not shift clicking my materials. Get! Come on! Shift click. Shift click. There we go. Alright, outside we go. Are we going to need our armor? Yeah, maybe we should. Just in case. You never know. Oh, as you can see, I also made a knapsack. Uh, a knapsack, um... Can I just look at it? Yeah, it's uh, three pieces of leather, two iron tough rods, and a gold ingot. And it gives me this extra slot in my uh, menu bar so I can start knocking stuff in there. It's uh, it's fantastic. And uh, as a matter of fact, you see the uh, the knapsack goes there. Nothing else really goes in there. It's it's, it's sort of a useless, uh, useless gooey right now. Okay, get, 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 get. Move over, put on the boots. Let's get out there and set this shit up. Ooh, ooh, we got a bit of a lag here, folks. Ooh, okay, that was a crazy lag. <laughs> this is, oh, this, this quarry is going to lag us out so badly. But, you know, I just don't care. I just don't care. Oh, I almost walked into the water. Okay, so we're going to start off, we're going to need our landmarks. Landmarks, landmarks, landmarks. And we are going to mark out the area where we want our quarry to dig. That's right, Barry. I, I ran all of this by Barry. Barry's fine with it. He's okay. He likes the idea of having a having an extra lake here. Um I'm kind of worried about something here. Let me go grab some dirt. It just, you know, it kind of seems to me I'm not sure whether or not the quarry is going to dig the area that I have the landmarks on as well. And if that does happen, all of that water is going to come pouring out. I don't want to take that chance. So let's grab a little bit of dirt. Dirt. There we go. Now let's get outside. We'll just we'll just lay some extra dirt on the side, just to make sure. I can't get out that way. I love this stuff. All right, here we go. We're gonna get this set up. We may not have it running by the end of the episode, but we are gonna get it all set up and I'll power it up at the beginning of next episode. Okay, so uh, just to be safe, we're gonna go here. Uh, we'll just go uh, upper for now. Because we'll know if it... <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't think it takes away the area with the, uh, with the landmark on it, but you know, just, just to be safe. All right, we're looking good. Okay, so back to what we were doing. Now we've got the landmarks laid out, and I think if they're laid out correctly, I should be able to do this. Yeah, check it out. Now what we need to do is lay our quarry. Let's uh, let's take out the dirt again. This actually is a fantastic idea. Now I have, I'm liking this. We're gonna make a little uh, overhang here that we're gonna run our quarry and power off of. So, if I remember correctly, we'll start with the quarry. And the quarry 
right in front. Oh, baby. Okay, okay. Now, uh, what we have to do is we will take out the Sterling engines. We have four, so I'm going to go there. Let's, let's go one, two, three, and let's go underneath. Uh, how far in are we to go underneath? Is it here? Ah, oh, it is right here. Perfect. And we'll go four. Now we'll have to take out the uh, the levers and some coal. So let's drop the coal in. There we go. And we'll drop a lever on there. Now we're not going to turn anything on yet. We don't want it working yet. Okay, uh, now I'm going to drop again. We're going to drop the coal in. And the lever. Drop the coal in. And a lever. And last one, drop the coal in. And a lever. No. <laughs> and, oh, I'm going to do this. And a lever. Yay. Okay. So we got all that set up. Now. It's not going to have a whole lot of work to do here, so uh, we're actually going to have to set up our pipes. Usually you can wait because it's going to uh, flatten out the ground for you, and uh, it's not going to get a chance to do that, because I did it for it. So, here we go, starting off. It's not going to be pretty, but who gives a shit? Uh, how do we want to do this? Pipe it out and down and then out. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I, I I know Barry. This is kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, folks. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end her here. Uh, we're gonna wait for the sun to come up. I'm gonna run the rest of these pipes and. Uh, when we come back, we'll start up the we'll start up the uh, the quarry, and we'll see what, how it works. I'm I got fingers crossed it's going to work. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. I'm Stephen Flag, and uh, I'll check you later. Ah, uh, fucking rain.